European School of Oncology, the e-session will start soon. Thank you for your patience. Today's e-session will start at 6.15 p.m. Thanks for waiting. European School of Oncology, the e-session will start soon. Thank you for your patience.
Good morning, afternoon and evening. This is the conference operator. The European School of Oncology welcomes you to the E-Session 587,000. Today's session is, Oncology and End of Life. Please note that this activity is CME accredited. At the end of the presentation, go back to the ESO website to complete the evaluation form and the CME multiple choice test. Mastermind competitors will be prompted to start the quiz, after having completed the evaluation. As a reminder, during the live session, all participants can ask questions live at any time by simply pressing on the relevant button at the bottom of the page. Questions will be received by Professor Federico Pelligatta, of the Milan University, Milan, Italy, who will discuss them with Dr. Monsilo Jankovic, of the San Gerardo Hospital, Monza, Italy. Here is an extract of the policy which is published on our website in full. I will now hand over to Dr. Jankovic. Doctor, your line is now open. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm ready for my presentation and very happy to share with you some uh, thought about uh, this uh, topic. And uh, I will start with uh, a cartoon just to minimize the entity and the impression of this uh, presentation. This is, uh, I don't want to die. Why must you always be opposite, Hugo? This is just to say that everybody has to die. Uh, first or uh, later. And who is a terminally ill child? Is not a dying. Is a child arrived at a phase of life where death is closed and cure is no longer possible? This phase could last a month. This is a, a very uh, difficult time, especially when the last period is very long. He doesn't need either therapeutical renouncing or ruthless obstinacy approach. So we have to balance about these two very important aspects. The past, I uh, divided, I shared my presentation in three time point. One is the past, the present and the future, just uh, to let you know about uh, data based on my personal experience. I worked for 40 years at the San Gerardo Hospital in uh, so-called trinchea, that means uh, just closer to the patients. And I treated for many, many years and uh, more than 3,000 patients. And I accompanied more than 600 patients to die. Uh, patient affected by leukemia or lymphoma, because uh, in Monza we treated the uh, uh, hemato-oncology patients and we have, uh, we are uh, lucky because we have in Milan another uh, building, another structure, the uh, Cancer Institute where they treat patients with solid tumor. So we concentrated our experience and our professionality on this uh, group of, of patients. The past is based on uh, one experience that, that I, uh, in the past, began, uh, began to have uh, with my professor, Professor Mazera, the director of uh, in the past of my department. Now, uh, for the last uh, more than 10 years, uh, Professor Biondi is the chairman of uh, our uh, pediatric clinic. And uh, not for a sense of uh, omnipotence, but uh, we would like that to be closer to the family also after the death of the child. And so we build up these meetings with parents after the death of their child from leukemia. And I publish a paper, if you look at 1989, but I continue this activity. And the aim of this study was to don't stop immediately. A relationship began and developed in a dramatic circumstances like the diagnosis of a potential fatal uh, disease and help the family to better understand what is happening. We unfortunately could not uh, give uh, again life uh, to the child, but uh, help uh, families to 
have a um, process of acceptance of what's happened. And at the same time, I believe in a balance between what, what you offer and what you have to receive from the other. You have a very dis disinterested information on how to improve the assistance to terminate a child and their family as a first step, but more in general, the data system in the world. So uh, why disinterested? Because uh, when uh, a family lose a child, of course, uh, is free to give you a lot of information, criticism or uh, suggestion just to improve and to uh, analyze the better your uh, way of uh, activity. The methodology, because uh, I believe in a program, uh, also in programs such as this one, that uh, to be closer to uh, a, a terminal a child, also uh, having a standardized methodology that could help you in build up a program. And just before the days, just a few days before, I offer to the family the possibility, but I express my wish. It's not just a tender, but I would like to have back a positive answer from the family to meet again in the hospital, if it's possible, of course, as first, first choice, but somewhere else to review the story of the child in a constructive, constructive way. So receive back information, give explanation, just to uh, better understand why and what's happened in the final phase of uh, the life of the child. But within seven days from death, I call the family. So I offer the possibility when the child is still alive, but in a terminal phase. And then I call the family, express my wish to meet again there, just to clarify or to better review the story of the child. Meeting with both parents when possible, because it's important to have back both parents not only one, because one transfer to the other what they want to, to, to say, but not the uh, truth, the real truth. And usually this happened three, four months later when uh, the family understand that the, the uh, child unfortunately died. Now, for this part, if uh, you have a question or answer, you can uh, raise now, otherwise I go on. There is no question, Dr. Yankovic, if you want, you can go on. Okay. Uh, just for all the participants, uh, if you have a question, please put the uh, question and answer button on uh, your screen and put there at the end of the presentation of Dr. Yankovic. We um, make this question. Okay. Good job. These are the results of this analysis, as you can see, from 1980 to 2016. It is a long time. I contacted more than 400 families, agreed to meet in nine, almost a 90 percent, and number of meetings. Uh, developed during this time was uh, a little bit less because some, somebody uh, transferred again far, far away from uh, the center, south of center Italy, so it's not easy to come back, but uh, it's still uh, high because they 86.5 percent. The problem on the disease occurred in 71.9 percent problem in the family, especially for siblings, because the family is not only the parents, is uh, almost at 60%. But the look at the comments on the management of the terminal phase of the child, 86.5%. So a tremendous number of family have to tell you something about the death of their child. The comments from a family point of view, 
in 94% of families consider this approach positive and useful. So I create a sort of understanding what happened and the elaboration of the look uh, in the best way. And they consider it important to go deep into aspects not completely clear or still very confused because at the end of the case, it's not uh, easy to understand every step that we propone as physicians and to freely express a criticism or appreciation in spite of the child's death. So criticism, the, well, we build up a new strategy of action, also appreciation that of course is uh, uh, honored what we have done for them. And this contributed to improve the modality of assistance for other kids. This was the end and they accepted well this uh, aspect. The comments are from a medical point of view. It's not in this experience, of course, but it's very profitable from a human vision stress, criticism, appreciation, which is his uh, It required almost one hour, this uh, type of a meeting, not more. You have to uh, remain in this uh, uh, frame. And we received an important contribution to improve the behavior of the healthcare team that uh, uh, is uh, uh, specified in homogeneity, meetings, phone calls, some aspect that, that we cancel in our uh, daily behavior. And these are, for me and for us, essential contribution to build up the most appropriate modality to assist a child and his or her family in the palliative and terminal phase until the death. So I call them meaningful rules, not guidelines based on uh, uh, scientific data, but the meaningful rules that can teach it in some way and modify your approach in the terminal phase. I talk about the past. Now I would like just to spend some words for the present. And the present are the data that based, uh, obtained based on the main aspects in approaching the terminal phase. And I just focused a few points. One is the multi-professional and interdisciplinary approach. Very hard team work involving physicians, nurses, psychologists, other professionals who take care of removing pain and the discomfort in the child. Look at the discomfort, not only the physical pain. Physical pain is based on the appropriate use of drugs, and there are a lot of drug strategy, but the discomfort is not easy to approach because they require the uh, need uh, of the uh, profession is to be closer to the patient. Global and personalized approach is not a universal approach. You have to, ta to tailor your approach personally to each child, each family. They are different than one each other. Person has to be considered as total unit and treatment tailored looking at his previous clinical story and present needs and the story are different. The needs are different. So it's not possible to have a unique strategy or unique modality. And these are required a personal approach and involvement in this, in the case. Centrality of the family. Care is not related only to the child, but to the entire family. This uh, is uh, to me, uh, uh, for me also for the adults. But especially when we talk to, to the, about child, it's important, the, the group. Communication, communication is the key of our relationship. To keep a good communicating level among different healthcare members and with the family for reinforcing and first developing the so-called therapeutic alliance. And the communication, verbal and not verbal, not only with the words, but also with your behavior, the, is uh, the basis uh, to build up uh, this uh, therapeutic alliance where the energy should be um, pushed and should be addressed uh, to the final goal that is uh, the complete cure where it's possible. And now as a hematology oncologist, I can tell you that 80% of patients affected by leukemia today it could be uh, completely cured 
but 20% still uh, die. And so they required the, the best quality of life also when we look at death. Refusal of a diagnostic and therapeutic obstinacy. This is a, a very ethic and uh, bioethic point, and I don't want to, uh, to go uh, uh, in details. The active intervention of the physician should only assure the quality of life of the child. We have to look at this important goal. Still, if you have uh, some immediate uh, question, I'm uh, available to answer. We have got a lot of questions, but I think that it's better that we do it at the end of the presentation because uh, our very, very important question. Please go on. Okay. Thank you. And uh, yeah, these are the parameters uh, of evaluation that uh, we considered in a, a, a group of uh, uh, children that, that uh, I analyzed. They are through the daily activity how to play, how frequently they, they go to school. We use a, a play performance scale by Lansky et al. appeared in Cancer uh, many years ago. And this is the standardized st instrument that, that we used. But uh, we use also, we calculate also the school attendance in terms of, of days of attendance. For, for what concerns the symptom, specifically the pain, are through the parents and the family doctor, an interview and the questionnaire that we uh, deliver to them, place uh, home or hospital, uh, always through, through parent, child, and family doctor. And the second child behavior is the first. Uh, uh, parameters of evaluation. The, con the second is the meeting with parents of the rest of the child with the methodology that I expressed to you before. I uh, extrapolated 74 children, 43 male and 31 female. As you can see, 66% affected by acute lymphoblastic leukemia. 33.30% acute non-lymphoblastic leukemia. The mean age of diagnosis is six years, with a range from five months to 13 years. And the mean age of death, 9.3 years, with the uh, range of one to 20. The mean duration of the terminal phase was 72.5 days. So not very long for what concerns the leukemia and lymphoma, but we talk about uh, almost three months. In uh, the majority, 67 children, 90.5%. And uh, uh, very long in the so-called so slow disease, lasting over six months in seven children. Period of evaluation from 2011 to 2016, seven, seven years, six years, and the place uh, is the Hospital San Gerardo where I worked for a long time. Pain control and pain control physical plus uh, psychic control. No drugs in a very, very low number of patients, only 7%. And non-opiates uh, opiates in 8.1%. But benzodiazepine to control the psychic uh, uh, damage uh, occurring in the patients at least three times a day the majority, 86.4%. And the opiates for the uh, pain control, physical pain control in the majority, 85.1%. In the last uh, 24 hours, only 8%, but uh, with a mean duration of 12 days in 91.7%. So uh, a longer period. The same, I can go on uh, according to the, uh, so we remain at the end for the question. The results are through these uh, two uh, modality of evaluation, uh, through the play performance scale, as you can see, uh, that the look at the quality of life, uh, play, uh, school, uh, that is very important for a, for a child, a 78.5% uh, 
0.4 percent. Uh, that means uh, 58 uh, out of 74 is a score from 50 to 90. That uh, uh, is uh, about a quite normal daily activity. We have a normal daily activity that this uh, is a synonymous of uh, good uh, quality of life. In uh, uh, 48 percent, the minority compared to uh, the 78, the uh, score was, uh, of course, uh, lower and uh, uh, score lower than 30, uh, from 30 to 50 percent, that uh, mean often in bed. School attendance for the children, of course, uh, in age for uh, schooling, 81 percent, they attended the school at least four days a week until five days from death. This is uh, very important. They continue to maintain a, a normal uh, style of uh, living, uh, uh, attending the school just a few days before the death. And the uh, child performance and the family adjustment, 97% through the meeting after the death, uh, from 88% of family received a positive and useful information. They encourage us to follow this type of modality. The pain control was adequate in 90% of uh, children, poor and in, in, inadequate in another 10%. And place of death, so look at this data, home, 81%. In the hospital, 19%. So they, we uh, were very proud that uh, the place uh, wished and uh, desired by the, the, the children, the, of course, is uh, the own home was uh, um, obtained during this uh, type of uh, management that we had. But uh, it's important in our reality in Italy, I don't know, in other countries in Europe or outside, the role of the family doctor because uh, as you can see in 56 uh, uh, patients, when uh, we involve uh, since uh, the diagnosis, not uh, to delegate uh, the doctor uh, uh, specialistic uh, intervention, but just uh, as uh, 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 accompanying their uh, family uh, along the, 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 the tunnel or the way you know, of the disease. When the, the doctor was involved since the diagnosis, the children died at home in 57.1% compared to 42.8% when the, the children died in hospital. So the role of a doctor, family doctor, is very important because in the 18 where not, we didn't involve for some difficult reason, some different reason, the doctor seen the, the diagnosis a 66% children died in hospital compared to 33.3% at home. So it's impressive the percentage and the uh, improvement of the assistance at home from the family doctor. Of course, a well trained. So terminal children with cancer, the process is, is this one that I summarize in some steps. Discontinuity of a curative treatment or any type of treatment leads to a non-acceptance by the family. Which family accept that look at the end of the child without trying some other possibility or finding other possibility to cure the child? And therefore, need of a palliative therapy. Give something not, uh, of, of course, aggressive, not uh, disturbing the child, but uh, giving the uh, feeling that he is still uh, 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 treated, he is still following during his uh, way. And that leads uh, to the beginning of the second phase of, on the respect of quality of life. This requires time, of course, uh, the parents need time to accept, or accept this situation. But if they look and or we teach them to look at the quality of life of their child, of course, this could be obtained. So 
the process of required time, not in a rush, accompanying and devotion. I go on, and the modality that I suggest you is looking at the child, and we should be able to listen to him, not only verbally, but also non-verbally, to look at their behavior, to look at their uh, modality of uh, uh, receive uh, the, the drugs, the modality of daily, uh, daily activity. We have to look at the siblings, don't forget that there is also the sibling, because we have to think also what could happen over the time after the death of the child. The parents, of course, and we needed to accompany them. One of the key words that I suggest is to a teacher to accompany a person, to respect a person, and to listen to a person. The family doctor is important but he, he should be involved since the beginning, not at the end. Not only if uh, there is something difficult to approach, but uh, since the beginning to create a sort of uh, alliance, alliance and uh, uh, therapeutic alliance. In the society, because uh, we have to understand also the proposed alternative problem. Of course, uh, we have to look uh, at the, the uh, not honesty of the, the people, but uh, there are some uh, alternatives as well as uh, the, the faith, the religion that could help uh, uh, parents and child to face uh, this uh, um, tremendous or difficult time. This uh, extrapolated in a newspaper many years ago is uh, from Gerard Di Ferrara when uh, the child, uh, the child, uh, although was uh, an, an adult uh, of uh, uh, Kennedy, died for a uh, uh, airplane crash. And uh, the, uh, the fragile is uh, the life that doesn't prepare us for losing the children, doesn't prepare. And uh, Kubler-Ross, uh, that probably many of you uh, uh, knows, uh, and uh, she's, uh, she was a, a, and has been a teacher for me, Describe in, the, in uh, her books uh, four, fifth stage denial and isolation, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. They are not uh, graduated from one to fifth, but uh, of course, uh, if uh, we will be able to help parents uh, to uh, be at the uh, third stage and the fifth stage, so bargaining and acceptance, we can consider uh, to have the possibility to uh, look at, at, at a, a not good death, but a, a, a accepted death, not a tremendous, not painful, as uh, uh, occur in the majority of cases. Clementina, ten years, uh, tell me this one, you are the only doctor who calls me at home. I like this so much, a simple phone call. And these are another parents that gave me this uh, um, piece of uh, uh, paper with uh, endless gratitude, Giulio, that was the child that with Down syndrome died, mama and papa. So they put, insert in their gratitude, also the name of the child. And uh, some meaningful rules uh, that uh, I experienced uh, was uh, to have, uh, because uh, we need uh, a program, we need uh, a plan, not uh, to every, uh, every time to uh, have a, a sudden uh, on pro uh, a sudden program on uh, a, a non-defined uh, program. A specific pediatric hematologist as a principal coordinator, involvement of few specific nurses, especially in outpatient clinic. Presence of another physician chosen according to the wishes or request of the family child. Uh, involvement of the family doctor, but since the diagnosis. Maintain the periodic and continuous control. We are not uh, 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 negative in this sense, but we give a continuity to our uh, behavior. Uh, 
in the outpatient clinic to avoid the feeling to be abandoned. Frequent phone calls, as Clementina told me, to encourage the family to support the child for few answered drug administration manual procedure and administer those are adequate and easily applicable because uh, we need to continue the treatment, but very easy treatment and not painful for the child. And uh, I go to finish looking at the future. And the future is uh, very well expressed uh, in the poems of this uh, uh, adolescent, Veronica, 13 years old, gave me these uh, poems uh, before dying. Uh, the title is uh, It's Important and say what really matters in life is not so much being able to value it, but what really counts is being able to embrace the moment when it finishes. And this is, is what she told us to move our activity up just to get to obtain this type of modality, to be able to embrace for them and to we have to stay closer in this way. When a child dies, he or she is able to remain close to us for encouraging our fight against cancer. And the death of the child promoted a lot of family to organize an association that helped us from an economical and technical point of view to improve the activity, to obtain in a, quick, in a more quickly way the uh, results that now, 1991, uh, 2021, uh, is uh, more than 80% could, could be cured and the minority of uh, the uh, child who will die needs uh, still our, uh, not compassion, but our uh, uh, possibility to be closer to them as much as possible. And this is just to give you an example that will finish how many people, how many programs could uh, go around the child and the family. The child and the family, of course, are uh, in the core of this diagram, but there are a lot of services, a lot of people that can uh, in, in, insert in this uh, diagram and can have a role because a role for many people is still possible and we need to look at this type of uh, modality of assistance. And uh, I listen uh, with this uh, take home, I finish, take home MS, only one, let's, uh, let's uh, listen to the child, come on together, we can concur. So we have to include in, in all the phases of the disease, the child in an appropriate way. This is my message because it's important. And they look at us as a potential help for face and for overcome the dark tunnel of the disease. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yankovic. Compliments for your presentation. It's very, very interesting uh, and, and complete. We have a lot of questions for you. Um, um, I, I think that you want to start from communication um, because we have two questions about this. Um, the first one uh, regarding the communication with the child. Do you think that children are willing to talk about death? Yes, this is a, a very uh, important question because uh, uh, communication as to me is uh, the key of uh, the relationship that uh, we have to build up uh, with uh, parents, of course, but also with children. And independently of the phase, uh, the day, I communicate uh, the diagnosis of the child and not listing all what can act, uh, uh, happen but uh, just informing them about uh, what uh, uh, the disease occur without uh, uh, nobody uh, of them is uh, guilty for this, but it is important to create a sort of uh, empathy 
and uh, to have uh, close the child uh, along the, the, the way of the disease. This, uh, I uh, generally, when I speak with the, the, the children at the beginning, starting from five years of age until 18, 19. So there is a very, uh, uh, but a personalized uh, communication because it's important to uh, look at the person you have uh, in face, not uh, generally speaking. And uh, there is a metaphor because uh, the disease and the flower garden, for instance, for, for what concerns the leukemia. But uh, this is important because it uh, can help me during the different phase, also when a relapse occurs or when you are closer to uh, the life. But uh, I, uh, during my communication, I leave space for listening to the child. How uh, deep uh, he would like to be involved. Because uh, sometimes uh, we are uh, um, too invasive in uh, giving a lot of information that create the troubles and create the discomfort to the child. So uh, I think that the uh, communication uh, it, that is uh, also the ability also to accompany the, the, the children, communication could be really the key of our. It requires time, yes, but not a very long time because the, uh, this is a, a dynamic process and could be divided in the different steps. The important is that we are here, you exist, and so I am close to you. Yes, and stay in the present and right here, like uh, in your presentation. The second question about the communication regarding the family. Uh, if family shutdowns, escaping further contact with the hospital staff, should we nicely insist in uh, the communication? But uh, I, uh, the uh, meaning of uh, uh, having the meeting at the, uh, at the death of the child is uh, really to help the family to overcome the problem or the difficulty that they uh, faced during the last phases of uh, the, 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 the child's disease. That means they took the correct decision. This is the open question of the family. Uh, we could uh, move uh, to another center. We could uh, move uh, uh, to uh, 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 obtain a different treatments and so on. They made uh, the correct choice. This is uh, the uh, open question. Of the, and, and this uh, is the, the question that if you don't uh, help them to uh, answer to this request, uh, this uh, question remain inside them and is uh, very disturbing in uh, elaborating the uh, possibility to uh, overcome the problem of the death of the child. So the meetings after this uh, have this uh, one of the main uh, goal that is uh, to explain clearly without uh, the possibility to uh, invent or to uh, adopt a uh, very strange uh, procedure, but uh, explain why they, we choose this, uh, 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 make this decision and we uh, decided to uh, uh, start with a treatment or another or to uh, avoid aggressive treatment and to look at the, the quality of life of the child. I think that this is really important, really, also for the parents to start the communications in the diagnosis over the time, but especially at the, uh, after the death, it's important to clarify the choices that they made uh, according to the doctors. Well, thank you for this answer. Um, I think that we have not enough time to answer to all the questions, but I, I want to make you just another one question about uh, from the uh, Q&A uh, button. And uh, it regards the, um, the training in palliative medicine, in pediatric palliative care. Uh, do you think that palliative medicine postgraduate without formal training in pediatrics 
are eligible to train in pediatric pilot in pediatric pilot medicine? Pardon me, I, I didn't understand very well. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, excuse me. Um, do you think that pilotic medicine postgraduate without formal training in pediatrics are eligible to train in pediatric pilotic medicine? But uh, I, I think that uh, uh, if uh, you want to uh, um, to um, approach uh, with the palliative uh, care in pediatrics, it's important to have uh, a general preparation also in general pediatrics because uh, um, uh, it's different, for instance, the palliative uh, activity care for adults uh, compared to, uh, to children. And uh, uh, to children, it's important to uh, know the biology of the child also what's uh, 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 the, the uh, possibility of uh, treating a child. So I, I, I think that is very important. And we started this uh, process uh, over the world uh, to uh, have a, a palliative medicine for uh, uh, children based on the uh, specialization or the activity in uh, uh, general pediatrics. Yeah, I agree with you, and I think that uh, it is more important when uh, we talk about non-oncological disease, yeah. uh, because in oncological disease, you, you know, the, the therapy, uh, we have the, uh, a protocol, we have a line of treatment, but in non-oncological disease, it's more important the training in uh, pediatrics. Um, just uh, the final, yeah. Um, question for you. Do you believe in the presence of existential distress in children? Ah, yes, I think the existential distress in children. The children, I could write a book about the sentences or the uh, 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 teachment that they gave me during uh, uh, the years. I remember only one sentence that I received from a child seven years old after uh, two bone marrow transplantation uh, consecutive and uh, uh, after a relapse during treatment. So we uh, uh, understood that from a technical point of view, there were not possibility for him to be cured, successfully cured. But the parents insisted to treat them and uh, we had a, a, he had a, a familiar donor, the sister, so we performed a, a first bone marrow transplantation, eligible bone marrow transplantation, but uh, after two months of hospitalization, he relapsed again. And then uh, they uh, ask us uh, to treat uh, with uh, a, a, a rated match donor from the bank. Uh, and uh, they insisted so much, uh, we didn't have the uh, power to stop this decision. And uh, the, the, the child remained six months consecutively in hospital. I met him in the bed and I said, uh, what's happened today? Uh, Eduardo was the name. Uh, the, Dr. Bianchi, I uh, uh, don't want uh, to die, but uh, I, am, I fear to live. So uh, this uh, uh, sentence uh, hit me very well because uh, it was very important. So the uh, sense, uh, the feeling of uh, life, the feeling of death are present in children. And they uh, express uh, in different way, not uh, directly, but uh, in different way. But uh, I am quite sure that they feel exactly what uh, will happen to, to them. Oh, I think that uh, with the words of Eduardo, we can close this session. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, very, very beautiful. And thank you to all the participants for at this, this uh, session for the time.
and the good evening to everybody. Uh, I don't know evening or afternoon. I don't know in which part of the world that you are. And uh, thank you to ISO for this uh, opportunity. And a nice evening to everybody. Thank you, Federico. Thank you, everybody. And see you in the future. Thank you, Dr. Yankovic, and thank you, Professor Pelagata. Ladies and gentlemen, the session has now concluded. If interested in CME accreditation, participants should fill in the evaluation form and pass the CME multiple choice test. To enter the CME section of the site, please close this window and go back to the ESO website. If you are a mastermind competitor, you will enter the quiz after the evaluation. The next TSO session will take place on the 28th of September, at the same time. And Dr. Ilaria Colombo, of the Oncology Institute of Southern Switzerland, Berlin Sauna, Switzerland, and Professor Christiana Sessa, of the same affiliation. will discuss with Dr. Anas Pasik, of the Institute of Oncology, Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. The following topic. Treating gynecological tumors without targeted agents, e. Brandes Core Program. Thank you for participating, and have a pleasant evening, day, or night. Goodbye.